Now to a scary collision on a busy canal in Venice, Italy. It's leading to new calls to ban giant cruise ships from the area. This, take a look at this, it was the chaotic scene yesterday when a cruise ship lost control, crashing into a riverboat and a crowded dock. Five people were hurt in that accident. Seth Doan is at the canal in Venice where the accident happened. Seth, how are people locally reacting? Good morning, Tony. Many people are saying enough is enough. This has really reignited this controversy that's been going on here for years in Venice, where we've heard many residents and activists saying these ships are simply too big for this fragile city. The massive ship just would not stop. On the dock, people fled as the towering 13-deck-high vessel, its horn blaring, grinded into a much smaller boat and the side of the pier. The cruise liner, which holds more than 2,600 people, had reported mechanical difficulties as it came into port Sunday morning. <laughs> and the tugboats trying to guide it in safely were not strong enough. Just to see this thing out of control was just, you know, it was almost literally unbelievable. Five people were injured Sunday. While many in Venice feel the city itself was already wounded by these ships. Protests sparked immediately. It worries me because it's something that could have happened so many other times and could happen again today. Jane DeMosto is, is an environmental scientist who heads We Are Here Venice, which wants Venice, to ban cruise ships. She worries they endanger the fragile lagoon, dwarf this city, and change its character. The cruise ships bring a huge number of people concentrated into the city and they've acted like kind of the icebreaker for the destruction of Venice through mass tourism. Throngs of tourists are drawn to the picturesque canals of this former maritime republic. Cruise ships alone bring in about two million visitors a year. Banksy, the street artist whose identity is not known, recently added his flourish to the protest. Following Sunday morning's crash, Venice's mayor said, once again it's shown that big ships cannot cross the Judecca Canal. And Italy's transport minister tweeted that the country here is close to finding a solution to protect both the city, its lagoon, and tourism. Gail? Seth Stone, thank you. And may we point out that Seth Stone was on vacation in Venice. Yes. And then he gets the call. Thank you very much, Seth. I hope we're paying for his yeah, vacation I now. I told Diana Miller I'm happy to do as many of these stories in Venice as, as you want. Okay, Diana I can Miller stay here. And the rest of us really appreciate what you're doing. Thank you so much.